if I were to ask you to define adaptive learning, could you? If not, don't worry, but keep in mind that you've likely experienced it most of your life. Starting in grade school, did your teachers assign you more work or maybe additional tasks because you excelled in a subject? Or like me, were given different assignments in math class to help you catch up? In simplest terms, a teacher's tailoring the instructional content to you is a form of adaptive learning. So what is adaptive learning? Is it a new kind of technology, an instructional strategy, a buzzword? The answer to all these questions is yes, kind of. The heart of adaptive learning is the idea that learners should have as personalized a learning experience as possible. As a learner, I should be able to get tailored information to me that is relevant. This might be based on my job role, location, other materials I may have completed, and may also include my interests and goals. That can be independent of technology, like in our example that included the teacher. However, we're really talking about technology here. Adaptive learning has been around for a long time. However, machine learning and artificial intelligence have only recently matured enough to make adaptive learning accessible at a scale that allows learning systems to achieve this. This makes assigning work and monitoring personalized progress now possible for everyone from large corporations to five-person teams. Adaptive learning results can vary, but in studies done in creating SparkLearn, it results in better retention, completion of content faster, and more satisfaction on the part of the learner. It reduces facilitator workload and can save your organization resources. You can check out this research at the link below. You don't have to take my word for it. Let's take a look at how this might look in practice. In this example, the system is offering up a pretest that gauges my understanding of a specific topic. I'm presented a series of questions and complete a short quiz. Based on my answers, some of the following content is marked complete. Because I, as the user, already have understanding of the concept. I can always choose to review it and go back on my own. But for now, it's marked complete, so I can move on to other topics. From there, I can continue to other things about my current role, or to start to look ahead at possible future roles. In another video in this series, we'll cover the idea that opening up materials to users' interests and personalizing them is not as out of the box as you might think. To wrap up this video, remember, adaptive learning is really about getting the right materials to the right users at the right time for them to keep engaged and move them through the learning path at a pace that works for them. If you're interested in keeping up as we add to the series, make sure to subscribe. Also check out the white paper that we worked on with the Learning Guild titled Adaptive and Personalized Learning. And to see how we do adaptive learning and how digital learning is done differently, head to sparklearn.com or reach out to us at hello at sparklearn.com.